Please let me punch this moron in his dumbass face just once. How the hell does your train of thought even work? Who was asking about food? You're fun to be with, Kata. I am going to murder him. Thank you so much for all you did for us. It's nothing. I just did what was right. I'm not even the one you should be thanking. Oh, hey. I was just talking about you. Just that it was your advice that saved all those rioters at the planetarium. I'm grateful. Without you, I'd have abandoned them. I'd still be at a loss. <laughs> Me too. I was so lost for... After hearing the Chief's plans and Ronaldo's ideals, I didn't know myself anymore. I didn't know who else to believe in. Looking back, I realize you've always lived like that. You never expect others to make decisions for you. That's how I want to live too. It's best to live life without regret. So, thank you. You taught me something very important. Ah, I, uh, w what was that? I was hoping to shake your hand. It's actually a bit embarrassing. <laughs> your hand is warm. I know now that the path I must follow is with you. Let's do this, together. I'll see you later. Hey, we gathered some of Jip's best tamers to thin out the demons. No matter how many we kill, they never stop. We just have to keep fighting. Demons! Damn it, again? You have to run! Monsters just appeared out of nowhere! The others, they didn't make it out in time. How many demons? And how many people? What can you do? Do you have a summoning app? Please, they'll die without help. Wait, I know that woman. She's from Gyps. What? Gyps? Mm. They don't care about civilians. We have to find someone else. But... Hurry or they'll die! <sighs> oh, sorry, I was formulating a plan of attack. I think I can handle this on my own. I need you to escort these people to safety. Y you're gonna help? Then... Head somewhere safe. Don't worry. I'll get the others out. Aren't you Gyps? I have to do what I feel is right. Thank you! Take them somewhere secure. I'll catch up. Perfect timing. We were about to call you. 
We received a distress call from Iri Bon. I don't know the details, but it went to Daichi Shijima. I don't sense Banet Nash, but Daichi Shijima seems unable to calm himself. No, no, no! Look, she said she needed our help. Even if the Septentrions aren't involved, we gotta save her. Who knows what's happened? That girl gets in so much trouble. That's why I told her to stay with me. Oh, uh, hey, wait a sec. Look! Whoa! There! That's Irie, right? She's her calm about this! Come on, we gotta hurry after her! Huh? Where is she? I swear she ran in here! Over here! Irie! And Otome? Wait, what's going on? Um, it's part of our plan. We lure you out here, and then we defeat you. You, you let us into a trap? We were worried about you! I really didn't want to, but you guys are too strong. What else could we do? Let's have a fair fight so none of us have any regrets, okay? No, wait a moment. Are you really, um, thinking about fighting us? I'm sorry, but if it's possible to change the world, we have to follow our own dreams. Y your dream? You don't mean... That's right! We joined Ronaldo in order to create equality. It's the best way. That makes you no different from Yamato! Calm down and think about it! We're completely different. Yamato's system preys on the weak, so the strong prosper. If everything becomes equal, everyone will be working for the benefit of the whole society. There will be no more selfishness. If everyone is working to help everyone else, it can only lead to happiness. Their intent is not important. They oppose Yamato Hotsuin, but they still wish to follow Polaris. One more point. Though they claim to want peace, they are the ones challenging us. We don't want to fight with you guys either. But unless we do, you won't help us. And besides, you brought your fair share of fighters too. What? No! We're not here to fight. We only came here after a lot of thinking. Will you at least listen? We can't rely on Polaris to make peace for us. Stop making excuses. If you're planning to fight anyway, you're just like Yamato. What is with you guys? We want to make the world equal! Why won't you understand? It's no use. They're nothing more than stubborn kids. This may sound harsh, but it's time for some punishment. It is as Hinako Kujo says. It would be faster to shatter their ideals. Come, Shining One, to battle!
so tired. We pulled through somehow. Dude, you're a beast. I'm all worn out. Well, at least we won. You got that right. I'm sure they took a few lumps, but it didn't seem that serious. Indeed, but as I suspected, Ronaldo Kuriki was not among their number. I do not believe so, as we are in Nagoya. They would not risk damaging their territory in such an attack. Mm -hmm. If he's not here, there's no telling where we'll find him. I think we'll just have to wait for him to come to us. A wise course of action. Let us leave the Nagoya leader aside for the time being. What's important now, Shining One, is to enlist the humans we fought a moment ago. Anyways, what do you want? I'm the enemy. Or did you come to make fun of the loser? I'm not mad! I mean... You just defeated me, you know. I was only trying to bring peace and equality to this world. Uh, of course it is! There'd be no favoritism! Everyone would have a fair chance. Well, I don't know. Maybe you're right. Hey, um, is there something I'm overlooking? Ah! <sighs> you might have a point. I really just wanted all this to end with everyone getting along. All of us smiling and laughing together. Maybe that seemed like something too hard to achieve. So I ran away from the path I really wanted to take. Can you tell me something? What are you trying to do with that strange guy? Create a new... Wait... So you're not changing this world? You're starting over? But... Even if you create a new world, how are you gonna run it? Everyone? You mean... The way the new world turns out will depend on... Us? Here's something else entirely, like, on a whole other level than the rest of us. I wonder if I could be like that too. If I could be strong enough to help with something like that. Really? Okay. Sorry I made you have to come out and say it. I... I'm with you now. I'll follow you wherever this leads. But first, I gotta go apologize. I said some harsh stuff. I'll see you later. Hey there. Hmm? Uh, I'm fine. I am a doctor, you know. <laughs> I thought if we could bring about equality, children could really live in peace. But I guess I couldn't accomplish it on my own, Steve. I don't know. Equality certainly seemed like the easiest way. I don't really care what happens to me, but when I think about all the children and what they'll have to face, ensuring a better world for them is what drove me onwards. <sighs> You're right. I wanted to secure their future, even if it meant fighting my friends. I wouldn't have minded being branded evil as long as the kids could be happy. No! Then what are you going to do? A new world? Don't tell me you mean to defeat Polaris. 
still. There's no guarantee your new world would be any better than this one, is there? Free. Hmm. If we can leave the children a free world, that might be enough to make them happy. <laughs> you really are amazing. Neither the Chief nor Ronaldo could come up with such a bold plan. Yes. Yes, I will join you. I feel sure that your path is the right one. You can lead us towards a bright future. Well, I should go prepare myself and tell everyone I joined you. I'll see you later then. It's gonna be Nagoya next! Don't be stupid, it's obviously gonna be Osaka. Hey you, back me up! Nagoya's right in the middle of the country! No way! It's Osaka for sure, right? Stop stalling and pick one! Yeah! We demand an answer now! Hey everyone, what's going on? Eo! Hey listen, you know how the world's gonna be remade, right? We should remake the capital, too! You want a new... capital? Yep, and it should totally be Nagoya, right? Are you kidding? It has to be Osaka! The new capital of Japan should have some soul! You're on my side, right, Eo? I have to choose between Osaka and Nagoya? Um... well... neither! I don't think either would work! Huh? That's not an option! Well, a lot of people would move to whatever city becomes the new capital. If that happens, all the stuff that makes Osaka or Nagoya special will disappear. That would be a little tragic, right? Hmm, you may have a point. I wouldn't want Nagoya to become Tokyo 2.0. You're right! Osaka's soul comes from its rebellious attitude. Exactly! I think things should stay the way they are. Eo, you've changed. What? I, I don't think so. Nuh-uh. Something's different about you. It's very suspicious. What? N nothing suspicious. I swear. Oh, good call. I see it too. That glance she just gave her friend. What? I... huh? I think you're on to something, Sherlock Hina. There's more between these two than meets the eye. Indubitably, I, dear Watson. We must obtain a confession at once. All right, fess up. Come clean, you two. <sighs> ah, turning it around on us, are you? That's even more suspicious. All right, I, let's go. We should let these two exchange sweet nothings alone. And that better be the only exchanging you two do, you hear me? I got my eye on you. I, I think there's a misunderstanding here. <sighs> don't worry, I'll talk to them. Y yeah, I don't want to cause you any trouble after all. I... I guess I should be on my way then. <laughs> no, no, no! You're not extending your right leg out soon enough. I'm doing it as fast as I can! You are not. You nearly fall over every time. Ugh. Hey, you! Help me out here! What are you asking for help for? All this is because allegedly you have perfect pitch! I do have perfect pitch! 
that piano's out of tune. After just a few days, not a chance. It is. I'm never wrong. Seemed pretty wrong to me. You lost the bet. So put on your big girl pants and we'll continue the lesson. Lesson? This is torture. Relax. It'll start getting fun after a while. Never! You shall be my first apprentice and become a legendary dancer. I'll never abandon you, no matter how utterly dance-challenged you may be. Go ahead. Abandon me. Hey, can you help me out here? Oh, yeah! Hey, you want to try it too? That's not fair. We had a deal. You made a promise, remember? I'm testing all these training exercises on I first, so you can wait. I'm your guinea pig now? That's not fair! Come on, I, from the top. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm going to be all sore tomorrow. Ah, Shining One. Are you perhaps here to look into this demon named Trumpeter? I thought so. Worry not. I've discovered the demon's location. Take a look at these. The name Trumpeter appears near the end. It is sealed in a place called Hebea Park. There's something called release codes as well. Yes. Lucky. Now then, you should take these codes. There is a catch, however. Using Trumpeter presents its own problems. Trumpeter's melody will affect more than just Bennett Nash. His sound waves spread out wide and slow, but sure enough, they will affect the entire area. We will be no exception. The cancelling waves will affect us too, meaning we will be unable to bring forth demons through your summoning applications. We must summon our demons prior to Trumpeter's melody. The application won't work afterward. If this defect can be ignored, Trumpeter may indeed be effective against Bennett Nash. It is something of a double-edged sword. We must plan for this shining one. Tough call. I mean, it's all or nothing. Well, yes, but we don't have much time, do we? It'll be up to him in the end. Oh, hey, we were just talking about Trumpeter and- Holy crap, you're here! Hello. We were waiting for you to show up. To unseal Trumpeter. This is the place, yes? That's what Psyduk told us anyway. Oh, we heard about Trumpeter's melody too. The jamming one? It'll stop Annette Nash's power, but we won't be able to summon any more demons either. We'll simply have to summon our demons before the melody's effect takes hold. Anything after that's out. We'll have to fight Benny with only those demons. Our personal attacks will still have no effect, so the demons will have to do all the work. It's a pretty big risk. What do you say? <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Whoa! You're serious? No, you're right. It's the only way to take down Bennett Nash. Mm -hmm. I know we can do this. If we're decided, let's hurry and head over there. Might as well finish this. Well then, let's do this like we always do. Alright, send the release code. Yeah, go for it. We finally found a countermeasure. I really hope it works. Ooh, yeah, it looks like something's coming out. For reals? Something did come out! Wings... An angel? Oh! He, he has a trumpet! <sighs> um, Trumpeter? Well, we've got this teensy favor to ask. Will you help? <sighs> 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 
No, this isn't about the dawn of the world. We're in real trouble here. I mean, come on. We took the time to find you, get the code, resurrect you. You can at least repay the favor by helping us out a little bit, you know? P please We really are in trouble. We'd like you to blow your trumpet for us. If you don't, Banet Nash will destroy everything. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, someone do something about this guy! He's seriously inflexible! Yeah, yeah, why don't you all shut up? Allow me to butt in here for a second. Fumi? Just stay out of this for a minute, okay? Now, back to our discussion. <laughs> I wasn't expecting such a stupid question. Do you really need to know that? <laughs> Don't however me, idiot. I hate having to answer pointless questions. As long as you understand. Now, back to how you're gonna help us. Seriously? Now we can fight Binette Nash! Ah, you're a nice guy after all. Whatever, I kept my promise. You should be good to go now. Have fun. Huh? <laughs> that was nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> nah, she's something of an exception. I gotta feel sorry for you, man. Right. Fumi is... special in her own ways. I don't think you should let it bother you, Trumpeter. <laughs> oh, wait a sec, could you try playing it once now just to see... Man, we don't even get a rehearsal. I guess we gotta do this. and pristine, thank you very much. The demons never got near it. Yeah, I'm so glad. But I decided I'm not coming here again. I shouldn't drag it around anymore. Mm-hmm. My dreams of becoming a pianist. I knew all along that worrying wouldn't do me any good. It's just like Makoto said. The way I was, I couldn't have even taken the first step. So I decided not to carry it around any longer. I mean, if all you do is cry about what could have been, you're wasting your life. I am thankful to Makoto. And you. Thank you. <laughs> I wonder if I've grown a little. I'm heading off. I'm gonna see what I can do. I've got a new life goal to find. Laters! Irie, can you pass me that box over there? This one? Here you go! No, the blue one, over there. Careful, it's full of sharp instruments. I know, I know. Ah! Oh no! Uh, I'm sorry! It slipped and... Uh, uh, I'll go disinfect these. Calm down, Irie. It's totally fine. Oh, hey! Don't be mean. Irie's helping. I wonder why she wanted to help all of a sudden. She seems strangely enthusiastic. Ah! <sighs> Irie, uh, are you alright? Yeah, but... I've been failing really hard. <laughs> it's alright, Irie. Everyone makes mistakes. This is only your first experience with this stuff, after all. <sighs> I guess this isn't my calling either. Irie, 
Work where people's lives hang in the balance needs a careful, non-clumsy person. Maybe I shouldn't get involved. Maybe something that makes everyone happy would be more up my alley. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect, right? Yeah, I knew you'd understand. I'm testing out different things to see if any of them fit me. You never know until you try. Oh, is that what this is all about? It's nice to be young. <laughs> I'm sorry, Otome. I'm off to try something new. And off she goes. Right back to her sugar rush self. I was worried for a moment. Hmm. Could it be that you had a little something to do with this? <laughs> You're quite popular around here. Have you seen Koharu anywhere? Sorry, I didn't mean to surprise you like that. Koharu disappeared. I can't find her anywhere. I told her to stay in her room. I gave her a Jip's phone, but she's not answering. She's probably out in the city with all the demons and the void. What should I do? I, I have to go look for her. If anything happens, give me a call. His dark... More injured coming in. They're in bad shape. What? Please, Doctor, you have to hurry! But, Koharu, what do I do? R really? Thank you so much. She's come with me to Nagoya before. I was always working, so I wasn't able to take her anywhere. She wanted to go sightseeing. She may have gone to one of the tourist spots, somewhere kids would like. Please find her. Without Koharu, I'm... I'll look to, the second I'm finished. Um, can I... Yeah? Then why are you glaring at me? Oh, you thought I was someone else. Sorry, sir. No one here but me. Sorry I couldn't help, mister. Hello? Koharu came back on her own. Thank God. She went shopping and forgot the phone. I had to give her a good scolding. Sorry for the trouble. Thanks for all your help. Is everything okay? Was it bad news? Um, here! If you drink this, it'll cheer you up! Well then, feel better. There he is. Hey, you're late. Worry not, you are exactly on time. The hour has finally come to finish the fight against Bennett Nash. Man, now I'm all nervous. Will this work? Like, like with Trumpeter and everything? Exactly. Second guessing yourself will not change the outcome. We have no choice but to believe in the power of humanity. Yeah. You're right. I've heard the Void's already taking Itabashi and Nerima. This area won't last much longer. We gotta hurry and get this done. We have no time to waste. Onward, Shining One. There it is. The Net Nash. Hey, this is really gonna work, right? What if he sends our demons away again? We should be all right, as long as Trumpeter is present. Correct? Bennett Nash's special emanations should be cancelled, as we have planned. Right. This fight's still gonna get really serious. We won't be able to summon demons. After we summon demons now, we'll have to make do with them for the rest of the battle. We will be unable to summon new demons for this battle's duration. 
Uh, wait a sec. Trumpeter's the one stopping whatever it is that Bennett Nash is doing, yeah? If he stops playing, then won't that mean his jamming effect stops too? So we've got to keep Trumpeter safe while we're fighting the other enemies. Wasn't it obvious? As you can see, our initial demon choice will be crucial.
Did we win? I think we did! We beat it! Oh, that was crazy! That splitting apart thing wasn't fair! Too many surprises! You have all done well in defeating Bennett Nash. That was the seventh. I'm not sure. If they're based on the Big Dipper, that should have been the last one. That was only a theory, though, so I'm still worried. You have nothing to fear. Trust me. Thank you. I shall lead you to Polaris, come what may. Wait a second. Polaris aside, there are a few things we still have to take care of. Chief Hotsuin was absent from headquarters. What could he be doing now? Don't forget Ronaldo and Joe. We may have defeated the Septentrion, but... I don't think a guy like Ronaldo will stay quiet. I agree. But neither faction has made a move. There's no knowing what they've planned. What we can do now to prepare for the end is to stay alert for both factions. We must also make sure each of us is ready when the time comes. Preparing. That's not a bad idea. We don't want to have any regrets, no matter what happens. Huh. Okay then, I'm off. Yamato, Ronaldo, and then Polaris. <laughs> I'm itching to get my fight on. Just a little more, then it's all done. Let's do our best, guys. Hello, Master. Your hard work today is to be commended. Ah, forgive the intrusion. My prior statement may have caused some slight confusion. My services as a liaison for the death video site Nicaea are no longer required. However, you've already downloaded this application, so of course, it may still be used as you wish. As I am the AI face of this application, I am here to serve you. I will continue to do so until the end of your journey, Master. Now, allow me to begin anew. I have taken the liberty of composing a simple summary of your actions today. Would you care to hear it? Excellent. Well, let me begin. After rising, you discussed with His Excellency your plan of action from here on out. You spoke about the other factions around Japan and the Septentrions as well. After entering Tokyo, you battled Master Daichi and Mistress Hinako. An astounding victory. Shortly afterwards, Bennett Nash, today's Septentrion, reared its head, so to speak. It was a most devious foe that was able to eliminate any avenue of attack you had. Your assessment that it could not be slain while it retained the pacify human ability was correct. You then engaged the Osaka faction, which had invaded Tokyo, and dealt them a crushing blow. After which, you made for Nagoya with all haste. Despite that faction's use of rudimentary traps, you managed to best them in combat. You then decided to cancel out Bennett Nash's abilities using special waves of sound. This ploy involved releasing the seal on the mighty demon, Trumpeter. You used his unique abilities to your advantage. The clever stratagem paid dividends, and you soundly defeated Bennett Nash. This concludes my overview of today's events. May your tomorrow be a nice day as well. Sunday's fruition. Towards a new tomorrow. Yo, rise and shine, man. Yeah, yeah, you're awake. That joke's gone stale. Everyone's up and gathered in the command room already. You better get moving. Oh, good morning. Did you sleep well? Everyone's been waiting for you. Good morning, Shining One. The time is nigh for all of your hard work to come to fruition. Hmm? 
I simply mean that the time has come to defeat Polaris and create a new world. Yeah. Once we beat Polaris and Psyduke takes the throne, we'll be in the clear. The world's gonna be reset and it'll be a brand new beginning, right? Yep. A whole new world. With no one ruling over us. No more fears of being erased. Everything bad about the world will be gone. A brand new dawn. Sounds like fun. Everything about this new world depends on man's potential, right? Whether it becomes a fantastic paradise or a pointless hellhole, it's all up to us. It'll be fine! I'm sure we'll make the most kick-ass world ever! We've been through a lot, but we've made it this far. We can't stop now, so there's nothing to worry about. Isn't that right? Yep, we're gonna destroy Polaris easy! All will be well. With the Shining One leading us, we need not worry. Hm. You're right. I can give it my all as long as we're together. All right, then. Let's do this. What's first on the list? You're absolutely right. First, we must settle with Yamato Hotsuin and Ronaldo Kuriki. Yeah, what he said. Unless we beat those two, the new world could be just like this one. <laughs> I've been itching to face them. Better not get in my way. Chief Hotsuin and Ronaldo. I'd rather not fight them, but it seems there's no avoiding it. No one I know has power or will like theirs. We must be prepared before facing them. Hmm. What are they up to now? Probably still planning on fighting, I'd think. No. I knew we'd have to go up against them eventually. Damn, those guys scare me. Still, we gotta do this. Hmm. You all intrigue me so. Once everyone is prepared, we must be on our way. It's not a big deal. I mean, it is a big deal, huh? I guess I've gone a little numb from all that's happened. Look, it's Polaris's black scar. What was it called? The Void or something? It spread this far, and I hear the Edogawa and Koto wards were swallowed into it. <sighs> yeah, I guess it doesn't matter at this point, but... Yeah, it is pretty close. It's not just Edogawa and Koto. The nothingness is expanding, and people are evacuating. It's like the only things left are the parts of the city we walk around in. The evacuees are attacked by demons as they run. The people who survived this long are at their limits. Is this all because the barrier Yamato placed is gone? Yeah. If we don't hurry, maybe the whole world will become nothing. I totally just killed the mood, didn't I? Sorry, my bad. We're gonna be okay, right? We've got you after all. <laughs> Let's defeat Polaris and create our new world. We can do this. What do you think they're up to? Another trap? I don't know. Doesn't seem like a trap. Oh, hey man, good timing. I heard Ronaldo and his faction are a little ways ahead. Surely anyone would notice. He showed up personally and has been calling our names rather loudly. I believe he is here to settle the score in a final conflict. They too sense that the end is nigh. Damn it, Ronaldo. You plan on challenging us without a trick up your sleeve. Reckless as ever. We must accept his challenge. There's no other way to make him give up his ideals. Um, I think it's around here. There's the Nagoya faction, with Ronaldo and the others. <laughs> hey guys! Looks like we finally ran into each other! You've come with your whole legion, and the mystery man. It's about time. 
<laughs> That's right. You must know that the world won't last much longer. Ronaldo Kuriki, Yuzuro Akie, you still don't understand? Polaris is the cause of all this. Can any peace she creates be called true peace? Sako, there's no knowing that unless we give it a try. I believe this is the best way to change the world. My wish remains the same. I'm with Ronnie on this one. I don't mind doing what needs to be done to fix society's weaknesses. Even if that means asking Polaris. I see. Let's finish this then. We will both fight for our ideals. No matter the victor, no hard feelings. Let's do this! All right, we've come so far. Let's give it all we got. Very well. They are the last of the Nagoya faction. Let us take care, Shining One.
It's over. We've won, Ronaldo. <clears throat> no! Justice cannot lose! Untrue, Ronaldo Kuriki. There is no such thing as absolute justice, nor absolute evil. <sighs> Don't talk like you know everything! Who the hell do you think you are? You appear out of nowhere with all the answers! You've already deceived him! So now what? What are you scheming? What? You convinced him to help you? Ronaldo Kuriki, I agree with the Shining One and gladly lend him my strength. That was my decision. The blame lies on no one else. What a joke. And I thought... <laughs> it seems I was a fool. Ronaldo Kuriki, we will create a new world with the Shining One. Won't you help? Yes, don't you agree? It may not be as much as you, but Ronaldo Kuriki has great potential. That's right, Ronaldo. Come with us. We're trying to defeat Polaris and make a world where nothing limits our future. You want to defeat Polaris? What are you getting at? This world as you know it will disappear, but the future will be what you make of it. What do you say, Ronaldo Kuriki? It won't be exactly as you imagined, but will you try with us? You want me to help create a new world? Uh, I have to say, that is appealing. Mystery man, you have bested me. I accept defeat at your hands. Ronaldo, so then you'll join- Oh, hell yeah! It's about time we stop fighting and work together to make a new world. <laughs> I thank you for the offer, but... You see, I am a very stubborn man. There is no way I could surrender my ideals for you! Uh, Ronaldo Kuriki, you... Yeah! No! Ronaldo, why? You chose death. That is unfortunate. The new world needs people like you, too. I'll become a star and watch over the world you create. Farewell. And thank you, my friend. No! Ronaldo! Huh? What are you doing, Ronaldo? You stupid, stupid, stupid idiot! Damn it. Dying's not gonna accomplish anything. You're right. At least it was a fitting end for a stubborn man like Ronaldo. I will remember our battles until the end of my days. That is how I will honor him. It is a mystery. When a man dies, all his memories and personality are lost. Even in the face of that loss, some would rather die than change beliefs. The will it takes to make that decision should be respected. Now, there are still things left to do. Let us go, Shining One. Yo, some fight, huh? <laughs> I'll be fine. You went easy on us, didn't you? Really gentlemanlike of you. Man, I thought that if everybody was equal, things would settle down, you know? That was no use. You guys are way out of my league, strength-wise. Well, I lost, and that's that, huh? You don't miss a trick, do you? No wonder we couldn't beat you. I really wanted to protect Nagoya. I know I can be lazy and flaky and other stuff, but I really wanted to keep this place safe. I've got so many memories of this city. It's stupid, I know. <laughs> you think so? Huh, maybe you're right. Thanks, kid. And again, you guys are probably pretty mad. I mean, we did just have a real scrap with your team. Hey, you're a generous guy. I still want to apologize, though. Sorry. Hey, I want to ask you something. And I'm going to be serious about it for once. 
If this world was equal, do you think everything would be peaceful? It wouldn't, huh? Yeah, if you say so, then it definitely must be true. Besides, fighting my friends to bring about peace? That <laughs> was never gonna work. All right, I'm going for it. Straight up. Will you let me join you? I've been really self-centered until now, but you guys finally knocked some sense into me. Please? Thanks, man. Well, now that that's all settled, I am starving. I'll meet up with you later. That'll be difficult. It wasn't built overnight, after all. Then what are we going to do? I can't really think of another solution. Hmm. Well, I got nothing. I guess we should try asking our go-to guy about this. We are having a debate in which we can reach no consensus, Shining One. Holy crap! When did you get here? Don't surprise me like that! What a strange human. Why are you so surprised, Daichi Shijima? Tell me, Shining One, what are your thoughts on this issue? Ah, oh, my apologies. We are thinking of using the terminal to open the path to Polaris. I don't think the terminal you are using now can withstand such tremendous power, which is why we must strengthen it. The question is, what do we do specifically? No, no! Where did you get that idea? I don't think that's what's called for here. You're right about that. Simply bolting on more stuff won't make it a more powerful vessel. That would be a 10-year project, I estimate, with chances of success no greater than... 1%? We got that, so we thought maybe it'd have to be some supernatural power. No, Shining One. The terminal is human technology. I am not omniscient. I feel like there's something we're forgetting. Something we can use, like a superpower. You mean what the Chief used at the Metropolitan Building? Huh. I get it. <laughs> Good thinking. There shouldn't be any compatibility issues. Hmm. The Dragon Stream is very powerful energy that depends on human technology. It may be possible to use it to strengthen the terminal. Wait, no, that won't work. We used up the Dragon Stream when we fought Mizar. Huh? Where? That's right, Shiny One. The last piece is still at the Metropolitan building. Oh yeah! After it swallowed Mizar, that last piece fell, right? Let us lose no time in searching for it. Come, Shining One! Here we are. The last piece of the dragon should be just up ahead. I wonder... Last I saw from the rooftop, it was lying on the ground. Oh, is that it? Over there, by the entrance. Whoa, that's it all right. D do you think it's okay to go near it? Uh, right. Considering how much it ate with Mizar, I doubt it's still hungry. <laughs> okay, I guess we should go check it out. Hey, found it! It's big... Did it just turn to stone? What's going on here? By the way, Shining One, have you considered how we will transport this? <laughs> Should we bring a crane then? I don't know if I'm licensed to drive one of those. Man, it would be so much easier if this lazy thing could get up and walk on its own. the dragon stream's power what the 
It's shaking! That is surprising. It still has enough power to move. Ah! It just ate it! No freaking way! Hmm. There's no controlling it in this state. Let's strike it down and make it heed our commands. Has it calmed down? It's not going to go crazy again, right? What a pain. I didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> Seriously, I hope this lets up soon. Now, back to the problem at hand. What do we do about this giant dragon? Uh, maybe we just hope it shrinks? Well, I'll be a monkey's third cousin. What? It shrunk! Whoa! It really shrunk! Ah, I see. It's really only natural if you consider it. The dragon stream is pure energy. Its master defines the shape it appears as. I see. That's a convenient power. <laughs> No wonder the Holtzween family's so strong. Indeed. If we're to use this to strengthen the terminal, 
We should go to the Jip's headquarters in Osaka. The switchboard is there, after all. It will allow us to make the terminal significantly stronger. Let us hurry, Shining One. We're here! Is this really the place? Right. I can't think of anywhere else. And it's like I've got a fleet of butterflies in my stomach. We should have no problem here. Shining One, you brought the dragon, yes? Perfect. Now use the dragon stream to strengthen this terminal. Hmm. I had not anticipated this possibility. Oh, that's a good question. How exactly are we supposed to enhance the terminal? Hmm. At the Metropolitan Building, it became small because the Shining One wished it so. Why not focus your will in the same manner now? What? That's just ridiculous. You're going ahead with this? Well, I guess it can't hurt to try. Now, Shining One, test the power of the Dragon Stream. Huh? Whoa! Oh my! The entire room's changed! Amazing! What powers of potential! Is someone there? Well done. I knew you'd accomplish this. Yes, I had high expectations for you. Unfortunately, you chose to side with that man. The time for talk has passed. You must all die here, and I shall take control! This is insane! Do you think we're just gonna let you do that? Right! We worked so hard for this! You think we'll just hand it over? Yamato Hotsui, it is a pity we must do battle. But I will keep my vow to the Shining One. Uh, Alright! We'll show you what the trash civilians can do! Oh, ow! I bit my tongue! Damn it! Ow! Okay, look! Go, guys! Oh.
<laughs> you monster. You give me information, and now you wish to defeat me. You aren't human. What are you? Why are you aiding him? Yamato Hotsuin, no one can truly say what they are in this world. I am following my heart, just as you are. Preposterous! You're nothing like me. You're not even human! Panet Nash is dead, and Polaris has not appeared! It's obvious what you are now! Hear me! I'll tell you what that man really is! Don't, Yamato Hotsuin. Mark me! That creature's name is Alcor! He is the last of the Septentrions! He is nothing more than a monster sent by Polaris. He wants to bring the human world to ruin! You are being deceived! If you believe in him, you doom all humanity to annihilation! What? This guy's a Septentrion? Seriously? Huh? Psydukes... Is this true? <sighs> I won't deny it. It is the truth. <sighs> what? I'm surprised. Though I might be your enemy, you still approve of me? You still grant me your trust? <laughs> Blind fools! What's going on? I, I can't move! You... You still had such power left. I won't let this continue! I'll never accept something like you! Don't do this! Stop! Yamato Hotsuin. Yamato? Yamato? What are you doing, Yamato? Why would you go so far? Fools! You could never understand what I'd risk to realize my ideals. You were striving to get me to compromise, but that would never work. I feared this day would come. Ever since you came to Gyps, that's when it all began to come apart. It is... It is unfortunate that my ambitions will never come to fruition. So naive. You've chosen a path to create a new world with that monster. Don't hesitate. Follow the path you desire without looking back on what's been sacrificed. But perhaps I could accept your invitation in the next life. Why? She felt so we didn't have to. No, Yamato! He was always kind of scary, but to die like that. What an idiot! Why did he have to rush to his own death? Yamato, I wanted to get to know you better. That bastard had to go and die on his own. After all you've said, it was still you who helped us survive this long, Yamato. How can you just leave us like this? You moron! <laughs> you did choose to follow my path. Are you alright with what happened here? I see. You're right. There's no time for discussion now. Let us go forth to Polaris. Ah! Oh, the 
the terminal. It moved. Thank you, Shining One. I will never betray you. I would risk my life for all of you. <laughs> I see now. This is yet another example of how wonderful friends are. Yeah. Lost so much. I've had enough of loss. Let's hurry, beat the crap out of Polaris, and create an awesome new world! Let us go. The time has come. We must prepare ourselves for an audience with Polaris. Yo, man! We've been waiting for you! Indeed, Shining One. We cannot begin without you, after all. Is it time? Alright then. Let's go see what this Polaris is like. Alright. Just a little further, huh? The time has finally come. This is our final battle. Let's do our best. We can do this. Just relax. We're fully prepared. You may give the order when ready. We can do this. Yo, hurry it up! I don't care what we're fighting, I just don't want to see the world erased. We'll be alright. As long as you guys are around, not even Polaris can scare me. <laughs> well, here we are. All that's left is to meet Polaris, or Polaris, you know who I mean. Thanks. We owe it all to you that we even made it this far. Now let's finish this. I can do anything, as long as I'm with you. Nothing scares me anymore. The time is at hand. Shining one. Let us create a wondrous new world. Oh yeah! What the? Hey, where are we? Well done in coming here. Yet... You seem to have been taken in by Alcor's words. Ah, Polaris. Since last we were together, even the Celestial Sphere has changed. Hmm. Are you Polaris? I am Polaris, the administrator of worlds from atop the Heavenly Throne. It's your fault that our world's in ruins! We'll never forgive you! You're going down! Impudent mortals! What shall you accomplish by destroying the Administrator? That's right! We don't need you anymore! We're going to hand your throne over to Psyduke so he can create a new world! Impossible! 
I inherited this throne from Kokal, and will be succeeded by Uri. The principles of the worlds are not so submissive that mere worlds can subvert them. I'm not so sure, Polaris. Humanity has potential. You will see it for yourself. Heretic Septentrion. Perhaps even your doubt was fated in the celestial desire. Thus did you test mankind. Not by force, but with your heart and words. I once believed so too. I thought that my doubts were planted by a higher power. However, I see it clearly now. The actions I took were my own. They were forced upon me by no one. Thank you, Shining One. I have no means of proving this. Do you still believe me? I believe in you too. You've been a friend to humans, helping us out all this time, right? There's no way we doubt you after all that. We ought to be thanking you. Thank you, everyone. Your words give rise to such wonderful emotions in me. Humans, Alcor, you are no longer worth speaking of. I shall erase you now. We'll never let something like Polaris beat us! Get ready, everyone! Be cautious. As I told you before, I cannot defeat Polaris. And if I fall, no one can take the Heavenly Throne. And a new world will be impossible to create. I must survive this battle along with at least one of you. It will be difficult, but I'm sure you... Or rather we... Can emerge victorious. Forward!
What is this? You would destroy me with such meager strength? Preposterous! She wasn't going all out? The truth is that neither of us can know the movement of the stars. I will take the throne! Absurd. You are no more than my sword. Your duty is over, Alcor. I will extinguish you! I... I cannot move. No! Psyduke's trapped! I have taken your freedom. Now perish! We gotta protect Psyduke while we fight Polaris.
I see you will not be easily destroyed. Then I shall face you with my true strength. last, you show your true form. I have been freed as well, so there is no need for any further trickery. Let us go forth, everyone. We shall destroy Polaris now! Ah! Oh, Psyduke! Looks like you're back on stage! Alright, this is the big one, guys. Hang in there! Destroy me to attain your naive fantasy. You are sleep, master of memories. The world will have a new administrator. Be gone. Faint one, Alcor. You will take up the heavenly throne and weave man's history. This is not mankind's world. Much will be lost if you go down humanity's path. Perhaps. But I wish to see where their path leads. I am different. I am not like you. Does this mean...
Yes, the victory is yours. Now you can create a new world. <laughs> yes! That was awesome! We did it! Huh? What's that? Look, something's appeared! It's the Heavenly Throne. Vega, Thuban, and Kokop once sat upon it. Urai would have been next. The occupant is responsible for managing the world and may use the power as he sees fit. The Heavenly Throne? Then why don't you sit down? You should hurry! Hmm. Tell me, Shining One. Would you really have me sit on this throne? Is this the right thing to do? Hmm. I see. Then I won't ask again. The history of man is one of war. Fear of one's fellows leads to bloodshed. But you, you are different. I'm glad I put my faith in you and your potential. Thus do I gladly ascend as the foundation of your new world. What is this place? Indeed. This is your new world. You will no longer be bound by anything. That voice? Is that Psyduke? Where are you? I am before you. I am now the world. All that shall be with you. I should be thanking you, Shining One. You cast away my doubt and gave me light. I have no physical form now, but I need none. This world requires no administrator. Now, go forth. Goodbye, my children. I look forward to seeing where your potential takes you. He's really gone. That idiot. If this is the end, he should have at least... We'll miss you. It'll be lonely without you around. Oh, the day's breaking. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's the best sunrise I've ever seen! Yeah, Psyduke says he's the world now, so we'll make him one amazing world. 
Just you watch, Psyduke. Just you watch. Thank you.